Welcome back to 504 Road Trips. Today we begin a new series, and in this series we'll cover all of I-55 start to finish. I-55 is one of the major north-south interstates that connects the Gulf of Mexico with the Great Lakes. Well, it doesn't quite reach the Gulf of Mexico, but it comes very close. You could actually drop a boat into the water a stone's throw from the southern terminus and connect directly to the Gulf of Mexico via Lake Pontchartrain and Lake Bourne. We begin about 20 miles west of New Orleans on I-10 in Laplace, Louisiana, and turn north onto I-55. The southern half of I-55 closely follows the original path of U.S. Highway 51, which runs along a narrow spit of land just to the right. The old highway is still open under local maintenance, and at the first on-ramp, the current alignment of U.S. 51 joins up with I-55. That on-ramp also carries traffic from eastbound I-10, that is, traffic coming from the west onto I-55 as there's no direct connection between I-10 east and I-55 north. Almost the entirety of this video will be on the Manshack Swamp Bridge, a twin concrete trestle viaduct that extends 22.8 miles above the thickly wooded swamp. This is the longest bridge on the interstate highway system, the 10th longest bridge in the world of any type, the second longest bridge over water, and the longest toll-free bridge in the world. This bridge was the last section of I-55 in Louisiana to be built and was completed in 1979. The Manshack Swamp Bridge covers nearly one-third of I-55's mileage within the state of Louisiana. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it to be notified when our new videos come out. And give us a thumbs up or hit the new super thanks button if you enjoy our videos.
Here we see a high-rise that crosses past Manshack, a waterway that connects Lake Maurepas on the left with Lake Pontchartrain on the right. You can see a similar bridge on Old Highway 51 on the right. At the peak of the high-rise we'll cross into Tangipaho Parish, and down below is a small fishing village of Manshack, where there are a number of boathouses and fishing camps, and the original Middendorf Seafood Restaurant, which still attracts patrons from all around the area after 87 years in business. Here I-55 descends to ground level and the swampland turns into pine forest. Old Highway 51 ends at the on-ramp to the right and just ahead, exit 23, leads to the US-51 business route through Ponchatoula. The business route was the original main line of US-51 prior to the construction of I-55 in this area, which dates back to the 1960s. We conclude today's video at mile marker 24. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to help support our channel, please check out our merchandise at 504roadtrips.spreadshirt.com. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, post a comment, subscribe, share and follow us on social media, and join us for our next 504 Road Trip.